hello everybody and welcome back to the channel we're back we're back again today we are having another leg and this leg is from uh, the uh, the Chibundu border from the Zimbabwean side heading into the Zambian side so we're just crossing the bridge right now and then afterwards heading towards Lusaka so we are on the Zambian uh, border uh, border side so from here uh, it's heading into Lusaka then from Lusaka heading upwards with the uh, T3 until the Copa Belt uh, via Kabwe and Kapirimposhi. So this is just um, a video trying to showcase the whole way from the Chirundu border up to uh, the Copa Belt. So if there is anybody who can recognize some of those places and some of the uh, landmarks, you could please uh, comment on the uh, you could comment on the comment section to see whether you recall those landmarks because it's just a random kind of uh, videos. Uh, all the way from uh, Chirundu up to the Copper Belt. So this is some of the Zambian vibes that you can see over there. That's basically um, some of the cafeterias starting from the uh, the intercity and uh, getting on to other Sibidi, then from Sibidi uh, and Kabwe in the former bit bite uh, that used to be a bit bite uh, a, a restaurant. So basically from there heading towards the direction of Dallas and then from Dallas to um, uh Kapir and Boshi and the Kapir and Boshi to Ndola. So that's a brief of um this whole video and uh, those a lot marks that we're gonna go through. So if any one of you would actually remember those places, this is the roundabout which is on the city of Lusaka and then afterwards carrying on with the journey heading towards north. So those are definitely our current views of um the city of Lusaka but we're not saying that's a whole city of Lusaka but it's just the main road coming from the intercity as you head towards the uh, the Great North Road, as if you're going to uh, Kabwe. So uh, that's basically what you expect to see. And if you've never traveled to Zambia, basically these are the vibes that you, you're you going to expect to see, as well as the warmth of the Zambian people. So yeah, basically there you have it. There you have it, folks. And um, those are the minibuses uh, known as taxis in other countries. Uh, that pick up people from uh, point A to point B uh, from one suburban to another suburban and so on from one township to another township Etc. So that's basically Those are the motor vehicles that you're going to be coming across as you drive through this Great North Road And then uh, another thing that you will come across uh, look at that Sibidi uh, and Kabwe over there So those are some of the bushes of Zambia and this is how they're looking like currently because we're in winter and in winter it becomes uh, dry due to the cold wind and uh, the wind that keeps on blowing so basically lots of uh, greener greenery and the green vegetation dries off and burns because of the of the cold so those are just some of the um, the current uh, sceneries that you expect to see as you drive through from Chirundu uh, coming into Lusaka then from Lusaka uh, driving into Kawe then from Kawe driving through to Kapirimboshi up to Ndola, the Cobra Belt. So that's, yeah, this is what you expect to see. So those are just some of the farms there, and that's Malangushi University. And yeah, nice vibes actually. So that's, uh, um, yeah, those are the greeneries that you, you're you gonna see in the forests of Zambia. So for those of you that have never been in Kabwe, you will also have those memories of uh, Kabwe. And those of you that are driven to Kabwe in a very, or those of you that have never driven to Kabwe in a very long time, so this is what you're going to expect to see when you come to Kabwe. Let's see a former big bite that was uh, owned uh, by one of our friends, uh, Mr. Jamali, as he was building up his wealth. And uh, yeah, then opposite, there were other business, uh, business guys also that uh, started and afterwards they took over the market and they grew bigger as well. So yeah, there you have it. Uh, very, very, um, very interesting stories when it comes to uh, looking at these kind of sceneries. And over there, it's in the city of Ndola. You can see the city of Ndola. That's uh, the skyline of Ndola. So basically, uh, this is the drive-through from from the uh, from the uh, from Chirundu border uh, via the T3 going to all the Copper Belt. So Ndola still looks beautiful as always. And um, yeah, just good memories. Honestly, it's good to uh, it's good to be home, and it's good to look at all those uh, sceneries and thinking of all those old memories when we we're young, walking around and uh, driving around those those places. It's just so awesome. Uh, it's very very awesome. Even though 
a lot of things have changed but still you can see Cowboy still remains the same Cowboy that we knew from the beginning from the rail line as you cross that rail line going at um, going into the CBD from Luangwa on the other side so yeah this is I mean it just brings it just brings a lot of a lot of memories actually and uh, Cowboy is a big city actually it looks like this but it's a huge city because it has uh, all this far away suburban areas and the mines and then the uh, rail rail township as well as the industrial area on the other side so it's just a lot a lot that you could talk about Kawe. and uh, in those days actually uh, during the time of um, president former president Kenneth Callender it was it was just a different uh, a different time even the suburb itself used to look differently but you can see in those suburbs uh, the way it looks uh, it hasn't changed that much it hasn't changed that much it's just a, uh, a few tweaks here and there and um, yeah and something else that I would speak about is there is a new mall and look at that police station over there just towards the rail line and as you head towards Mulungushi textiles then after Mulungushi textiles there is another new mall there in Kabwe so yeah probably those could be um, as you can see those could be a uh, new places for those of you that have never driven this route before otherwise it is all a beautiful uh, and friendly town as always the town of uh, Kabwe so yeah that's a Mulungushi textiles that I've been speaking about and it still looks the same but at the time of uh, Kenneth Kaunda it was definitely state-owned and then afterwards got privatized so I don't know what's the uh, what's the current situation at the moment with the textiles but leave it privatized and the, then the private uh, then the private uh, entities could try to probably uh, bring in new um, system of operation and probably they could carry on operating and producing as uh, much garment as possible to the market yeah so those are just a few things that we wanted to showcase on this journey from the Chirundu border heading towards Lusaka then from Lusaka to Kawe then from Kawe to uh, Ndola Vek Poshi. so if you're watching for the first time please consider subscribing give us a like and click the notification bell so that you're notified every single time we post a new video and we highly appreciate those that have already subscribed thank you for supporting us and please keep supporting us thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next one bye